Hello, and today I would like to show you how to create physically accurate uh, sparks. So we'll be recreating this entire setup here. But first, I'll show you the basic setup. So I just have a sphere, creating some normals, scattering some points, uh, animating the seed based on time, and then I'm creating my initial velocity from a normal with a random value from minus 1 and 1. Oh, sorry, no, from 0 and 1, and then multiplying it by 10. So what I get is this type of simulation here. And I'm just adding the gravity inside pop, uh, pop network. Then I'm just keeping the ID and velocity. So first what we need is to understand how uh, really uh, sparks work. So sparks are just uh, particles. They get their shape or their distinct shape from the motion blur from your camera. So I know my shutter time for this particular case is 0.5. So 0.5 means that the camera opens half a frame before uh, the current frame and half a frame after. So we know our camera is open for one entire frame. So what I need, I need to push my particle half a frame right now forward. So I can do that by taking my position, adding my velocity, which I'll multiply by 1 24th. And you can see it pushes forward, but this push pushes forward 1 24th of a frame. So I'll multiply, uh, sorry, not 1 24th of a frame, but one uh, frame forward and I just need to put it push it half a frame so I need to multiply this again by 0.5 so now essentially I'm pushing the, all the particles half a frame forward then I need to take a trail uh, sorry trail and in my trail if I for example zoom to this particle here uh, the trail length uh, gives me the amount of uh, points it creates and the trail increment gives the distance between each particle or between each new created point. So what I need here is I need to set this to 0.5 as a default and then what I need is I need to copy this, divide it with my trail length, but now I get this issue when I increase the uh, trail length you can see that the last point is getting further away from the uh, initial point which I do not want so what I need here is because uh, at, at first or let's say if I create a single frame, I need to divide it with one, not two in this case, because in this case I'm creating just a single frame, but I'm dividing it with two. So I can just uh, fix it with a simple way or with a simple solution and subtract one. Now, if you can see, I'm adding as much points as I want, but the first and the last frame still keep their distance, which is 0.5, which is exactly what I need. I'll set this to five. And the next thing we need is to create a add. So the add, will uh, connect all of our points here, or all the points, uh, based on the ID. So by group, set this to by attribute, and set it to ID. So now we get these lines, which you can see, which look nice. Then what I would like to get, just as another bonus, is to place a resample. But if I visualize my points, resample also resamples it. So I want to disable this here, and I only need the curve view attribute. So the curve view attribute is very useful in this case because I can create, let's say, let's visualize the curve view attribute. If I place color, fram from attribute, curve view, you can see that the curve view goes from 1 to 0. And I can use this to create a fall off of my, uh, for my spark, which is very useful. So I'll call this, let's say, opacity. It doesn't matter. You can use it for emission, whatever you like to opacity. Uh, let's say equal to one for now, and I'll create a uh, black to orange ramp, just so I can see. And what I'll do is I'll create a channel ramp, call this ramp, which will go from, or sorry, which will take the curve view attribute, curve view attribute, let's close this, and I'll create a hill, and I'll just move this forward. So now we can see without this. Uh, Essentially what I'm doing is at the front here, I'm fading, fading it off a bit and slowly as it goes backwards, it also fades away. I think uh, this also gives you a very realistic look for your particles. So, yep, this is the result. And I hope you learned something new and bye.